Today in the news, we got PCIe Gen 4 Magic, some Navi, and shoes. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. It's been about a week now since the RX 5500 series fully launched, and most of the reviews are out. And while they are accurate, they're not complete anymore. It turns out that the 5500 series performs dramatically better when used with an AMD X570 motherboard and a Ryzen 3000 CPU. Why? Well, PCIe Gen 4. German website PCGamesHardware.de tested both the 4GB and 8GB cards on an ASUS X570 570 plus tough gaming board with 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz memory and a Ryzen 5 3600. Let's take a look at the benchmarks with PCIe 3.0 and 4.0. There's a toggle in the BIOS to do that. Assassin's Creed Odyssey at 1080p shows a measurable difference for the 4 gigabyte version with PCIe 3.0 at 25 FPS and PCIe 4.0 at 31 FPS average. The 8 gigabyte version of the card does also benefit from PCIe Gen 4, but just not as much. Moving to Battlefield 5 and the difference is even more present, with both the 4GB card and 8GB card getting a serious boost to frame rates with PCIe Gen 4. Now the biggest difference observed for the 4GB card on PCIe Gen 4 was with Far Cry New Dawn, boosting the frame rates from a kind of playable 42 FPS all the way up to 74.7. The 8GB model also also has a tiny bit of improvement, although not as dramatic. They also tested it with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'll let that slide up for a bit so you can see the improvements. And also with Wolfenstein Youngblood, which goes from unplayable for the 4GB card on PCIe 3.0 up to kind of playable with PCIe Gen 4. These differences in performance are due to AMD's choice of limiting the card to 8 PCIe Express lanes, no matter what generation it is. Since the card is rated to run at PCIe Gen 4 specs, the memory reads and write speeds are effectively doubled when compared to PCIe Gen 3, as seen in these two IDA64 GPGPU benchmarks. Essentially, when plugged on Gen 4, the card runs at the equivalent of 16 lanes of Gen 3. When plugged to Gen 3, it can caps out at 8 lanes of Gen 3. But why does memory transfer speeds matter? Well, at 4 gigabytes, the RX 5500 XT's VRAM can get full quite easily. It then has to offload some of this data off to the RAM. The way it does it is through the PCIe bus, and that's where the advantage of Gen 4 shows up. That's also why the 4 gigabyte version gets a much bigger boost from Gen 4 compared to the 8 gigabyte. The RX 5500 series is not the first card to be limited to 8 lanes. The RX 570 was too, but that card was far from powerful enough to take advantage of it. What do you guys think of all of this? Let me know down below. Going up in the stack of GPUs because no one cares about the RX 5500s, we got another sighting of the RX 5600 XT. Gigabyte filed for a slew of GPUs in their Eagle series. The RX 5600 found in the EEC filing comes in at 6GB of VRAM. No 8GB versions, which is odd since other board partners filed for both a 6 and an 8GB version. We really don't know much about the RX 5600 series. Is it a cut down Navi 10 chip? Is it the Navi 12 that we don't seem to know where it goes? I mean, some say Navi 12 is a higher end card, likely for a 5800 series or something like that, which makes no sense to me. Others say that it's in between the 5500's Navi 14 and the 5700's Navi 10, which is a logical guess to me. But what I hope it is not is a Navi 14 chip with 24 CUs. That would make no sense. My prediction is between 26 and 28 CUs to place it maybe higher than a 1660 Ti and maybe at the same price. What do you guys think? In surprisingly dumb news, we have Puma who decided to cash in on the gaming with gaming shoes. Yep, that's right. For some reason, it was also created for console gamers. What? I mean, they do look kind of cool, and you can also change the sole grip with TPU skins. But what in the hell? I mean, look at that. Features. You have seek mode, attack mode, and cruise and defense modes. I mean, come on, Puma, you're better than this. 
In gaming news, it has started. The Epic Game Store 12 Days of Christmas. Well, actually it's 11 or 10, depending on when you watch this video. But you can now pick up Towerfall Ascension for free today on their store. Seriously guys, it's free games. And no, it's not a sponsor. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you got any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. 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 And a happy new year.